Hello, uh, underground tubers, I guess. <laughs> Welcome back to some more uh, quote-unquote challenge mode um, with me, Blankulo, Final Fantasy IV, Pixel Remaster, yada, yada, yada. Um, so far, we've had one boss? No, two bosses. So far, we've had two bosses that have been moderately difficult. Maybe three if you count um, Kegnazo. He was a little bit tricky. Um, Barbariccia... You had to be a bit careful with, because you couldn't break the cyclone. Dr. Luge's last form um, did that whole, uh, you know, the sleep counter, basically, which um, would wreck you if you uh, got lasered and didn't heal up. So uh, you had to be a little bit careful for those two or three bosses, but honestly, overall, this uh, this playthrough with Solo Cecil, it feels like the rest of the team is holding him back. Um more than aiding him, honestly. Because you level up so fast with just one party member compared to five. Um, like, we'll be, I don't know, we'll be like level 80 or 90 before we get to the moon. The the last, like, 10 or 20 levels, the, the XP does take a lot. But, um, in theory, we actually, you know, we might hit level 99 by the time we get to the end of the game, just without even a big grind, you know? Which would be kind of funny. I'm actually a little bit curious in this version uh, if they kept the random level 75 and up stat gains on, on level up, or if it's less random now. It's pretty true to the original, mostly, but not always. All right, so the former, formerly deceased engineer is back, and then he's out again. Oh, sad music. He's probably dead. Definitely don't cast any uh, raised dead on him. <laughs> and he starts to snore. The game, I think the game pulls the, your trusted companion has fallen to their death too many times in too short a time frame. The first one or two is like, ooh, dramatic. But then they do it like five more times. As much as I love FF4, you could probably critique that a little bit. Uh, get out of here, goblins. I don't have time for ya. Alright. So we'll do a quick uh, round the world checkup. Nothing much to do down here, but... Might as well show it off. The smithy. Is there... There is two items to pick up. Somewhere. I think... Yeah, there's one. Master lost a spark. Gotta bring him some fancy metal. If only we had some legendary ore. There we go. It's in the bookcase. Easy to miss, I guess. Oh, yeah, we haven't really been picking up a lot of these, but um, the stat uppers, I mean, you might as well give them to Cecil, I guess. I think I wasted a silver apple, actually. The, the, the one you find normally, not the rare drop, and uh, just threw it on one of the dead party members accidentally. Alright, uh, we'll go to the shop, or the town next. Well, town has a shop. Anything worth picking up? <laughs> oh, remedies. Okay. We're not going to have a problem with money. Ever. I don't expect... I mean, we've got Asuna as well. But the reason I want to buy those is it just lets me get rid of all this garbage in my inventory. So now there's, like no reason to hold on to any of this stuff other than it's cheap. And I think when we get to the moon we'll be able to buy uh, ethers or something anyway. Maybe even X potions. Maybe even elixirs. I forget. Maybe we should save our money for the moon trip. But I mean, Sid, when he died, supposedly, he exploded. 
Which was pretty dramatic, but yeah, I mean, he, he walked it off. <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking. Yeah, so, shopping for Solo, you know, there's not a lot to shop for, right? Right, Diamond Gear. Um, let me just think for a second. There is something to shop for. So I've been enjoying the light armor for a while now, having the black belt gi rather than the flame armor. And it does give us a lot of evasion and some more magic evasion that we normally don't have on Cecil. Uh, but I do like I do like elemental protection too, which, you know, diamond gloves or something would give us uh, fire, ice, lightning. Solar only heavy armor helmet. <laughs> Might as well pick one up. Honestly, I don't know if four defense makes much difference. I think the only thing you'd want this for is lightning protection. I'm trying to keep that magic evade. Hmm. I mean, I'm min-maxing at a point where we might not need to, but... Once we hit 99 strength, we can start taking off our strength-boosting equipment. We can hit 90 right now. That's crazy. That is bonkers stats for... Well, even for the end game, level 60 is pretty much good to go. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I think what we are worried about... And the reason I had the Sage Miter equipped is the magic protection. I honestly think that's our biggest weakness. Physical hits are generally not a big deal. And I think what you want is a bit of magic defense, but mostly that magic evasion and multiplier. So I think I will just leave it like that. I'll buy these just in case, but... I don't think I'll use them. Alright. Enough messing around. Probably go find some for free now. <laughs> Every time. Just take everything. We're friendly dwarves. Alright, that's everything. Nothing too important, but... I'm trying to think if there's any bosses that are really strong with lightning. I know, like, uh, the gold... I think it's the gold dragons in the moon? Mm. They've got, like, a thunderbolt or... No, it's the blue dragons. I, mean, I don't know, one of the dragons. Probably the blue ones. Um, but not a lot... I can't think of a lot of big lightning attacks. So do we have any reason? Do we have any reason at all? I'll go later. Unless we get stumped in the um once we get stumped in the dungeon here, 
And I don't think we will. Well, okay, the wall boss does worry me a little. <laughs> we want to make sure we have a backup save. <laughs> Oh, the rat tail? Oh, that's a good point. So we definitely need to pick up the rat tail before we go up. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's a good point. Doesn't help us right now. But you'll want to pick it up before you go drill out. Yeah, okay. Good I mean, you could skip. You could skip Excalibur, it'd be fine. I'm pretty sure you'd be fine. I don't know for sure. Let's see what happens here. We might just straight die. No. DPS is good. We're going to get a lot of level ups. I mean, you're always going to get a lot of level ups. I wasn't sure if we'd have enough uh, damage output to kill those before they killed us, but... We good. So I know we usually have the, uh, you know, Leviathan and stuff to slay the, uh, whatever, the, the Doom Wall. I can't remember if he's weak to ice. I, I think we, I don't think water is an element in this game. Like, I'm pretty sure Leviathan is just not elemental. Three hits pretty reliably, no problem. Yeah, we might have been in trouble if we couldn't kill those doors. You might be able to reflect it? I don't know. So most of these are just dead ends, but... I kind of like showing them all off. You know, these should almost be ambushes, like, uh, the idea is the party goes to open a door, doesn't notice that it's a mimic or something like a mimic, and then the door attacks them as they try to open it. Probably should be, like, if not a back attack, at least a, a surprise round. I can't, I can't stop getting levels. I mean, you can run from battle, but the reason I'm not doing that is you can't, um, you can't auto battle and run at the same time. So it's actually slower to run. Screamers count as giants, by the way. It's weird. Because we got the, uh, the ogre killer giant damage axe. But, um, running, we would have to just hold L and R to run at regular battle speed <laughs> or we can use auto battle and generally just win the fight faster solo so yeah I mean I would assume I don't I mean we could check exactly how much HP they have we're pretty high level this this is not a good sword All right well it doesn't never mind wait I don't remember this sword at all, but holy smokes. I don't know why my, my brain's just falling apart. I don't remember this part of... I, I've, I've done this all in a different order than normal. We'll take the light sword. It's all good. <laughs> I'm sure I get it every time, and it's always fine.
unless there's a sword you pick up down in Fey March that's better. And then I would be getting the light sword and be like, oh, this is garbage. But hey, we're doing the game kind of more in the intended order, right? I'm pretty sure normally you're supposed to go here right after you get the airship rather than... Uh, cause it's supposed to be a rush job to go pick up uh, the, the dark crystal, right? You're not supposed to go take a, take a week off and, you know, explore all the dungeons. Even though you can do the side dungeons. I'm also not sure you're usually supposed to be strong enough to defeat Leviathan this early either. If you're playing the Super Nintendo version, I think Leviathan, unless you've done a lot of grinding, Ashura and Leviathan are pretty tough fights at this level. I mean, not level 66, but you know what I mean. Uh, does that give us anything? Hmm. It does make you immune to sleep. Sleep is real bad when you're solo. Less magic evasion and stuff, but... Now, I don't know if there's anything that ca casts sleep down here, but... Sleep is rough. That's a lot of bats. It might be faster to try to run from a lot of bats. Maybe. The auto battle is pretty fast. And then you can like put the controller down and have a snack. <laughs> I am I am quite glad they included auto battle. I wish they had allowed you to set the auto battle speed in the settings, uh, in like in the game, rather than having to like do a little hack. Oh yeah, light sword two shots, something easy. I mean, it's pretty easy to change the auto battle speed, like it's not a big deal, but I think it'd be, that'd be a good control to have as part of the game. Uh, the auto battle multiplier is three times, rather than the default 1.5. Uh, we're on, wait. Well, we're on whatever the default is. I didn't actually mess with any of that. In fact, I didn't change anything in the menus. I didn't even do that. <laughs> oh, wasting all my time. I mean, active weight doesn't make a huge difference. There's no menuing when you're just attacking. <laughs> So things will go a bit faster now because I forgot about that. <laughs> really, just a trap, just a dead end. Why? Why you gotta be like that? Basically, um, I just tap X when battle starts to do auto battle. I don't like, um, there is a setting in the config for continuous auto battle or whatever, where if you end a battle in auto battle, your next one starts without you having to click anything. But that messes me up more often than helps me, because then I, then I miss my first input on an important fight. I find it better to just leave it on, um, you have to start auto battle mode, and then that way if it's an easy fight, you just tap auto battle and you're good to go and if it's dangerous you can you know take it slower oh yeah it auto battle remembering your last input is really good too yeah I wish it was a little bit better it um, it works for most uses uh, except for some like weird cases, like I think using the heal staff to target your allies, I'm pretty sure auto battle doesn't remember that and it targets the enemy with the heal staff, like there's a few cases where the auto battle memory system doesn't quite work, but like 99% of the time or so it's it's totally cool. Alright, this is like the last save before maybe a little bit of challenge, we'll see. I, I don't think this is going to be a huge problem. Uh, better safe than sorry. Let's just grind up to level 90. Good old grinding session. 
And there's our Bridge of Doom. Oh, I should heal up, probably. Just in case. Honestly, everything's been so easy, uh, I'm barely, barely paying attention. 99 strength, dang. Um, let me just double check what we're actually at. So this thing adds three. Oops. Okay, so we're, we're actually at 87, I think. It's, uh, oh no, there's three from the light sword. So five, 10, 13. So we're currently at 84 strength. This is pretty good. And then we can cap it out with a strength boosting helmet. That's <laughs> uh, good. It's, it's good, it gives me more options to, to unequip stuff. And our Cura, it looks like it's about 700 or so that's, that's not a lot in terms of boss fights but something all right um yeah let's see how this goes you get an auto save as soon as you enter the room so unless we're in big trouble we can just try a few times and see what happens now i'm gonna try to not use a slow or a stop or a haste because i'm saving those for uh some of the crystal bosses at the end. But this might be a situation where you need to slow them. Yeah, I think the FF4 Pixel Remaster doubles the base XP growth, and then solo is five times as well, so, you know, crazy. So we're just gonna smack it. I'm gonna test one thing real quick. So that was 2800. It's not weak to ice, I was just double checking. I don't think it counts as a giant either. Um, Cause you could use the Dwarven Axe to do bonus damage if it was a giant. Or, sorry, not that one, wrong, wrong axe. We're not doing enough damage. Uh, not the Dwarf Axe, the... Uh... Did I sell it? No, it's just hiding, the overkill. That did... That did more damage than the Light Sword, right? Maybe it is a giant. Oh no, it was a crit. It's fine. I wish, another thing I wish the Pixel Remasters did better was tell you if you got a crit. All right, so I think I've just settled that none of these weapons are gonna help. I have a feeling we're not gonna do enough damage here. We could also try like Bacchus Cider. Oh, isn't there an Avenger? Maybe picking up the Avenger would be worth it. Wow, it didn't even matter. We're too strong. Um, is the Avenger in one of those, uh, like the Land of Summons or something? I feel like that's a sword that might be worth picking up on a solo run. Because the Auto Berserk is pretty good. But uh, yeah, it looks like even with no special gear, other than just levels and light brand. Um, level 69. Very nice. Oh, right. What am I doing? We already got this. Easy. If you got the giant glove drop, uh, you could probably stack your strength. There, there are some rare drops that would make it a bit easier uh, along the way if you're lucky. Giant gloves, famously. Very, very good. Um, I don't know what else would be... There's not a lot of drops. There, there are some rare swords like the Gorgon Blade, but that one kind of sucked. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to remember if there's any good swords that you might get on a drop that would be worth it. But... Avengers with Sylph? Yeah, I'm, I was trying to remember if there was any reason to go to those side dungeons. So there's a Rat's Tail we definitely want to get the Excalibur going. And the Avenger, I would say, wherever it is, if all you're going to do is auto battle, if you're not going to worry about healing, and it, if you're in a DPS race with a boss, auto battle is maybe the way to go. Um, I actually think the Avenger would probably do more damage than the Light Sword. So we'll go pick it up and you know, have a look. Although we'll end up with Excalibur pretty darn quick at this point, but that's fine. Also, we're so high level, like, we kill everything in one hit, so... 
there is that. Now, technically, if I wanted to use some of my rare items, we could Berserk ourselves. Now, you'd spend one turn to Berserk. So, unless your sword did a lot more damage than the Avenger, uh, you'd probably want to not waste that turn uh, Berserking up. But you could use your best sword and be Berserked, basically. And that's kind of my backup strat for some of the final bosses, is to haste myself, slow the boss, and then Berserk. See, uh, see what happens, you know? That's, that's the ultimate strat. <laughs> Level 99 Cecil, hasted and Berserked, just let him go. Unleash the beast. Uh, we can't emergency exit or anything here, sadly. Level 70, yep. It would be nice if the game had like a warp spell, kind of like how um, Final Fantasy 1 that you warp back a single floor. That would have been nice of them. Actually, I say that. It might. Oh, <laughs> uh, wow, well, she's she's dead and she's not learning these spells. No, you'd, learn, you'd have learned it by now if, you, if it existed. There is a warp spell. I, I guess I don't use Rydia's alternative magic very often. It's, um... In fact, you know what? I bet you when I had the party, I used warp to get back to this floor. Or I tried, anyway. Just talking about things, not remembering what I did last time. Not every Final Fantasy has a warp and a exit, though. Not always. Yeah, if you went from Final Fantasy 1 to Final Fantasy 4 slash 2, it was a pretty big improvement. Really good. It probably, you know, if you were in Japan and you played them Final Fantasy 1, 2, 3, it probably wouldn't have been quite as much of a shocker, but going from just Final Fantasy 1 NES to this, pretty awesome. Alright, so Kane stole the crystal, you know the drill. Let's go upgrade our ship again. <laughs> Always upgrading. Call this uh, final airship upgrade fantasy. Final engineering, where half the game is finding an airship or upgrading an airship. Is three the most vehicles you get in Final Fantasy? You got Enterprise, you got the whatever the red one is, and the blue whale. Big whale, sorry. It's blue. Big. It's big. It's pretty large. Man, it's gonna work himself to death at this rate. I got really excited when um, SNES Final Fantasy 3, so 6, of course, um, when that was released, I was. Um, I remember reading that in uh, Nintendo Power and stuff. It was advertised quite a lot. I was like, ooh, dang. Because they talked about all the... the um, all of the possible recruitable, recruitable characters. Because there's more than just four or five playable. You know, there's a whole bunch of people you can get. And then they had their own unique sort of quests near the end where you had to do a sort of a finale quest for each of them. I can't remember how they advertised it, but it was definitely that kind of thing. I'm like, dang, that's cool. Falcon in the Enterprise? Oh, the hovercraft, yeah. It's a lot It's a lot of vehicles. I guess in Final Fantasy V, you just get the one that can fly and go underwater. So they just compacted it. <laughs> and in six, there's two airships. But you only ever get one at a time, so there's really only one, you know? <laughs> All right, Sid, thanks. Thanks for the help again. Oh, I guess, um, maybe before we leave, we should go pick up the, uh, the tail, then. Yeah, Marsh Cave. It's funny how bad memory everyone has of Marsh Cave, except it's actually not that bad. 
<laughs> like, if you look, if you come back at it kind of knowing what you're doing, Marsh Cave isn't that hard at all. You don't need to be level 12 with Silver Swords and Ice 2s. You can get away with, like, a couple Fire 2s and a couple Cure 2s. No big deal. After running it solo a couple times, it's like, no, this is actually a pretty not that bad dungeon. I mean, it's not easy, but... It's more, if you're playing for the first time, it, it catches you off guard, because you're like... You know, you're, you're on your high from beating up some pirates that have, like, ten hit points. <laughs> and then you go to a real dungeon. It's your... I, you know, it's like baby's first real dungeon. That's, that's, that's probably the main thing. By normal JRPG standards, Marsh Cave isn't that bad. It's just... When you're playing it and you're, like, six years old, it's your first time never played an RPG before, <laughs> you're probably going to die. There's going to be a scorpion ambush, and they're going to kill you. Just like how Cecil killed his wife. He's going to jail. Ninety-nine potions, ninety-nine- no! You never need ninety-nine antidotes, man. You need like ten, maybe twenty for the whole game. That's why buying the- the pure spell is so bad. Because for 4,000 gold, you can buy more antidotes than you'll ever use. <laughs> it's... It's silly. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's a good game. I... Now I want to play some more Final Fantasy 1. Alright. We're gonna go Luton. I... F I... This... This is gonna burn, because we don't get to float. The first time I played Final Fantasy 1, I, I was like 5, actually. Five or six. So. But my dad helped you. Know, yeah. Hey, dude. Hey, we're not one shotting enemies here. What's going on? What? Blasphemy. We're not strong enough. Cecil, quick. Wait, your stats. Your strength is maxed out. <laughs> now, what are we going to do? We can't get any stronger. Alright, we are gonna walk through all the acid down here. I'm a little bit concerned about the Marlboro room. I'm not sure how good that will be solo. Wonder if I could just grab the rat's tail and then come back with a better sword. I would like that Avenger, but I don't I don't remember what chest it's in if it is here, right? Like I know there's an Avenger. I don't remember where it is. <laughs> I wonder if, uh... Oh, we can check the, the, the tile damage, yeah. Um, I'm just curious if... They're probably not weak to fire, but I just want to double check. No, that's less damage. What else can we check? Uh, Mithril is an like anti ghoul I think they are considered ghouls. Ooh, the sleep! Okay, you know what just happened there? We got protected by our black cowl. <laughs> so that was worth it. Um, yeah, the light sword just does so much more damage, but... Uh, I don't think anything we've got is going to be more... I'm just... You know, it'd be nice to push out just a little bit more damage, you know? Where are we going? Where? No, wait. This. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Mm. This is how we die. Okay, well that breaks it. Ooh. Solo Marlboro. See, there's a fight with what three or four of them. I mean, we're not silenced. I don't know if we can do that without a ribbon. Ah, uh, that's... They hit hard when you're a toad. And it takes a second to Asuna. If the Avenger is guarded by, like, 
a whole bunch of Marlboros. I mean, we can try. But... I don't know if it's possible. Yes. Can we just keep getting level ups? Anyway, wait, that's not what I want to do. I did... Wait a second, was it always like that? Oh, this fight's annoying, we're not doing that. Um, just toad, untoad, toad, untoad. Did you know you could just go right there? <laughs> I always walk around the long way. <laughs> All right, garbage. This is this is the route to death, though. Oh right, I was gonna check how much damage the floors are doing. Yeah, I don't remember on the Super Nintendo. It was it was a tough fight. Not quite as bad as first time Mad Ogres, I guess, but, uh, tough. Good old Castle Eblin. Now you die. Uh, we do... Well, we can walk out rather than fighting down there, but we've got emergency exits if we needed to get out. Uh, although... Okay, 5651. Five, so you take 50 damage per step. And... Now we're stuck down here. No. That's a dumb little secret passage. Now I just want like another level up just in case. Just in case I'm at the cusp of surviving, you know? The trouble is we can't easily heal back thousands of damage mid-battle. We don't have Kiriga, Kiriga. And we don't have infinite X potions. I think 50 was the same as Super Dendo. Uh, I'll say middle top, but half of them are death, basically. Half of them are like Thunder Fangs, which don't even matter. This fight, no big deal. In fact, that level up we're almost reliably one-shotting the Evil Dreamers now. Almost. Eh, sometimes. <laughs> and we get a White Fang. Okay, so that's one of the that's one of the uh, garbage. So I'll be putting some uh, some quick saves here because I have a bad feeling about this. Four. Can we? we there's no way we one-shot them. Turn one bad breath. Like, if they just punch us, we're dead. And we're confused, so... We hit ourselves for 36, but then we need to... Mm. You can't cast Cure when you're... Yeah, I don't... I don't think this is going to be doable, honestly. I, uh... Even with Remedies... Uh, hopefully you can't hear the neighbors yelling in the hallway. Uh, I've had some weird neighbor disputes lately. I, uh, I get a feeling we're not going to be able to kill four Marlboros at once. Not without, at the very least, Confuse protection. So if there's some gear that gives us immunity to Confuse, that would... Well, maybe. Confuse and Frog for sure. Well, Mini as well, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, so all, this, all the bottom rows are going to be probably too much. Well, it's not as bad, but it's still bad. This one is like maybe doable, but the trees only punch, and they punch pretty hard. See, if we weren't confused, we could have assumed it right there, or remedied. But instead, we wasted two rounds... And took so much damage. Hey guys. 
Hey, uh, power? If I got any gear that might help, I, I don't think... I don't think Cecil can equip anything... ...that's gonna protect him from uh, the statuses we want to be protected from yet. No, I think it's... Am I going for all chests? Well, I think there's a... Eventually, yes. <laughs> I think there's like an Avenger somewhere in one of these, which I'm like, I would like to have that. But if it's the four Marlboro chest, I don't think we can do it. At least not without status protection. I don't, I mean, the Avenger's not, you know, it's not the end of the world. I was just thinking, what useful stuff is there for Solo Cecil? Maybe that would be nice to have, but... I think Marlboros are just a doom. The doom of Solo, as usual, status afflictions. Let's see what guards it, just to double check. Uh, it's gonna hurt, but maybe? Okay, we can one-shot them, we're good. They got Quake, but uh, we win. Okay, Medusa Arrow's not that important. Yeah, we don't have access to that stuff yet. Yeah, you'd need at least Anti-Confuse, but you'd probably need Anti-Confuse and Frog, and maybe Mini. Confuse for sure, because you can't waste your turns uh, healing Marlboros. But uh, no, we don't have any of that right now. So Marlboros, I think, are a little bit off-limit. We'll finish clearing the, the area, though, at the dungeon. And make a new save. It was interesting, you know. We gave it a we gave it a try, but oh man, bad luck. Back attack marbles. Jeez. It's possible you could. I mean, you could go for magic evade gear, but we don't have we don't have a lot of options. Who could run? Lucky friend. Uh, the arrows we picked up, uh, Petrify. Uh, we've also got Confusion. And I sold a lot of the other ones. I don't think you'd have enough time, though. I think the Marbles will still... When there's four of them, like, even if you could confuse one, like, ah, it's not going to make that big of a difference. Uh, am I silenced? Of course I'm silenced. Ribbons are the only protection from Confuse? I mean, I have never really gone into such thorough depth of FF4, uh, but maybe, yeah. I thought, I thought there'd be some kind of helmet for it, but there might not be. Gonna keep getting some levels though. As we're getting close to the end game, I'm starting to get a little bit nervous about some of these final bosses. So uh, just keep getting stronger as we as we do this stuff. After getting completely blocked by Marlboros, I'm like, eh, you know, a couple levels won't hurt. <laughs> and we level super fast, so as long as we keep fighting as we cruise, uh, well, we won't have to do a grind. You know, we'll just level as we go. Wait, was this? There's treasure. Yeah. Cottage. Money. We do want to pick up the, uh... Bad luck. Well, I might have taken this fight if it wasn't a back attack, but... I think... Like, I'm pretty sure Marlboros are scripted to always bad breath turn one, right? So, if you don't have status protection, you could just always get confused instantly and then game over. Iron Man? Well, yeah. I guess you don't have to fight him, right? Like, I will try, but it's not like a mandatory battle. Oh, I guess this is mandatory. Because it's a trap chest. 
Mm, this might take a little while. Oh, come on. <laughs> Why you gotta be like that? Frog me back. Good. Bad. Bad. Come on. It's like a 50-50 chance every round. Oh, uh, we're so close to one-shotting her. That's crazy. The first, we only hit her once with a sword. <laughs> and then we killed her with one damage. <laughs> what if you go to the fight with status ailments? Uh, for countdown or doom? No. I don't think I don't think you can overwrite it. I don't expect you can anyway. I'm actually some of these questions are good questions because I don't really know how the Pixel Remaster game engine works. It's not exactly the same as the Super Nintendo version. There are definitely some changes in how the game plays, so it's possible there are weird exploits we might find. Elixirs, those are certainly not bad. Uh, I missed seven chests. I know two of them are the guarded ones, so I still missed five. Berserk? Um, if I berserked the Marlboro battle, I would never be able to remedy myself after I got turned into a toad in Game Over. We're almost at the uh, soft cap for uh, stats. Cat claw, hell claw, humans, ah, go away. All right, so we'll tell his wife about him later. And I still don't have a. One more. Okay, the item in the sylph's cottage is. Uh, The Sylph Summon that you get when you wake Yang up. I'm pretty sure. Okay, we're almost done here. I just keep going the wrong path. We're not doing a very thorough job. Yeah, those chests right there. You can see them. Uh, I'll try. Dang. Confu double confused. Rough. Dead. Marlboros? See, I don't think we can even... Even two Marlboros is likely too much. Um, four seems like there's no way... Without status protection, I, I don't... Maybe you could get lucky enough, but... Okay, I gotta f take the stairs back up. Uh, but I gotta go the other way, and... Can we... Can we okay, preemptive strike... If we can get two hits in, we can kill him. There you go. So with a preemptive strike, we can kill one Marlboro before we get bad breath. That's it. <laughs> I don't think there's any kind of, like, you can't reflect bad breath or anything. There's no... Other than status protection gear... I don't think there's much you can do. Run. Run, Cecil. Good job. So it turns out that uh, Sylph Cave might be the worst place for solo Cecil. Of all the of all the dungeons so far, this place does seem like the most dangerous. And you know, until we get to the moon, but. Because even the trapdoors in the uh, the sealed cave is no big deal. Uh, yeah, a bunch of goodies. Five left? Or, sorry, two left? Good. So we have everything except the ones we uh, can't get yet. I'm saying can't because maybe someone's cleverer than I am, but I'm 
fairly certain we can't get them. Hey, look at all that HP. All right. Now it's possible. I don't. We can't equip the. We can't equip Takers anyway. Oh no, we can. Interesting. It's so weak, though. Man, like, like effective damage is good, but is it that good? <laughs> uh, I'm not really worried about emergency exits, so we'll just use one to save a little bit of time. Yeah, the trap doors, we just crushed them. Just with good levels. Um, so whoever said, uh, Rat's Tail, not Sylph Cave. Avenger, maybe, though. Yeah, no, I mean, with a ribbon, you, know, you can do anything. Okay, how much do these do for damage? Uh, 685... So same as the other, same as the other dungeon, 50 per step. Uh, these guys quake, but that's usually only scary <laughs> for weak old mages in the back row. Cecil never cared too much about Iraqi quakes. I wonder if it's scaling based on her HP. I've been talking about that a bit during the run. A lot of enemies seem to have HP scaling AoEs. Oh, these mini Satamas are bad. They got confused. Uh, yeah, this is actually not a fight we want to take. Don't fight those. You said Fey Mark? Okay, good. Just making sure, you know. Chat, I give chat a typical 50-50 for good ad info. You, you never know if your advice from chat's going to be worth it or not. Uh, alright. I'm using a lot of potions. They're, it's not a big deal, but... We are a paladin. We can heal up. I think there's one more in the bottom right. This guy's fine. Belphegor, I think, a weak to light. I think he's got a tough... I'm pretty sure he has a powerful attack, but... He'll never cause any that's any problem. Yeah, no float. I don't think there'd be any way other than raising uh, Rosa to cast it and then killing her. Which would be silly. Ah, no way. This is a bad fight. Now, I think the mini Satanas only do their nasty spells when there's only one of them left. I think. So maybe we're cool, but yeah, I don't think we want to fight them generally. Oh, that's right. The, um, uh, this stuff sucks. I remember testing it out during the other run. Uh, the, the, the battle damage items, uh, they're not like, I'm pretty sure the SNES hard type, like the Japanese version that has these items, they, I think they scale on your HP or something. So, if you had a 6,000 HP Cecil, some of those items would do a lot, I think. I'm pretty sure. But for us, they're they're pretty much trash. In this version, casting items just not good. It's probably for balance or something. I mean, yeah, who knows? Maybe it's a bug. Keep getting rune arm. Let's don't care about that. Poison axe. Uh, nah. Two-handed, so no shield. Worse stats. I don't. I don't think poison's worth anything. So nope. We did use the break blade a little bit, or the gorgon blade, but the gradual petrify was so gradual. <laughs> that uh, it definitely wasn't uh, very important. Literally, like, something like 20 rounds. Will I farm spider webs? Not unless I have to. I have been preserving every spider web, Hermes shoes, etc., I can. Oh, yeah, we've been going for light armor. 
Um, because I don't think the physical defense from the heavy armor is actually worth it in hindsight. Hey, look, curse! We never had curse work for us with the ancient sword, but... Ah, that, that's what you normally would have early for going down there. Right. So normally I do the, the Land of Summons before we go to the Sealed Cave. That's just my typical out order. And that, therefore, you would get the Defender before you would get the Light Sword. And then you pick up the Light Sword in the Sealed Cave and be like, oh, this is garbage. But it actually is a pretty big upgrade if you go there in the normal sequence. So that's interesting. But that gives us Protect, technically... Okay, that's a lot of defense, because the Light Sword actually gives you plus three strength, which isn't bad. I mean, we're already maxed out, but, like, that's actually not a bad weapon. Interesting. Um, yeah, that's a lot of defense. We're up to 69. Nice. So we got almost capped stamina and strength. That was pretty good, pretty good. Um, in fact... Is it high enough to switch out? I just want to see if my strength is still 99. 96. Nah, nah, we'll keep it max for now. A few more level ups and it won't matter what we equip strength-wise. And honestly, I think the 10% evasion is better than a little bit of defense. Honestly, we've just gone with all the light gear because might as well have 84% evasion. <laughs> right? Who needs physical defense when you have evasion? Alright, now I always miss this dumb little hidden spot here. All the Yoichi stuff. It's like the second best bow in the game, I think. Second to Artemis? Maybe. And then, this is the weird one that's the rat tail, right? The perfect rice. Nice. Nice rice. There you go. I, I even remember the chest once I got here. Yeah, unlimited arrows is a change I approve. For sure. None of that matters anymore. If we can just buy remedies if we need them. Let's not stay at the inn or else our party will get rezzed. I mean, sh we should try to fight Ashur and Leviathan, I guess. Solo. Uh, I think Ashur will be fine. Well, she can... He I oh my god. I don't have any, like, lunar curtains to throw on her. Oh my god. Hmm. It'll be interesting not using reflex strats. It'll be interesting. That'll be the last thing we do. <laughs> oh, if you're running for 100% item collection, I do remember looking this up. There actually is a stupid item in this... Uh, in the, I think it's either the weapon or the armor shops, one of the cupboards, but it only shows up after you've been to the moon. It's really dumb. <laughs> like, I think either the, the the weapon shop or the armor shop or both have an item right here, but you can't actually get it till later in the game. So 100%, you know. Um, none of this matters for Cecil. So basically, we're always going to have two items missing from the Land of Summons because... Well, we have to come back later. It's annoying. You like Rydia with a bow? Yeah. I mean, I think she canonically is whippy, of course. But the bows are probably better back row. She doesn't get aim like uh, Rosa, so she doesn't have the, uh, the perfect accuracy or whatever. But, um... Yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, I found that during the Let's Play, because I was like, how how did I miss an item here? This is ridiculous. And I had to go look it up. It's, a, it's pretty dumb. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, well... I don't... I don't know about this. 
Solo Asura. I'm not really worried about her physical. I'm more worried about her healing. Yeah, it's nothing. So she heals for 2,700, a little bit less than I hit for. Sometimes. Uh, we should be net positive. We're good. Doesn't make enough difference. We're still we're still gonna out DPS at her cure again easily. Piece of cake. Defender for huge defense. Good evasion. She only heals for about 3,000 at best. Once in a while. Her counters weren't so bad. Easy. The rest of the team dragging us down. <laughs> Solo Cecil all you need. Really, the moral of the story is the rest of the team is just getting in the way, honestly. Now, Tidal Wave might hurt. Um, not much we can do about it. It's not elemental. Well, we... I mean, it's really on the easy side. We are level 74. <laughs> I don't know, on the Super Nintendo, if you grind it to 74, I feel like it probably wouldn't be much harder either, but... We'll see. This fight, we'll see. Three grand's good. It's gonna just depend on how bad the tidal wave hits. Eh. I'm gonna try to DPS him down. Because I can't really heal up. I should have quick save. I, did, I didn't quick save, did I? Come on, quick, kill him before he gets another turn. It says, kill him! Kill him! Okay, not quite enough. Uh, because he uses Blizzara, though, I technically was taking double damage from it because I forgot about the flame shield. Because I don't have the armor. It, it'll be a little bit easier second round, and I'll quick save next time. I got a little bit too cocky there. That was my bad. I think we were also probably pretty close to killing him without having to do any healing. The thing is, I'm trying not to use any X potions. We might literally be able to buy X potions at the next shop, but I'm trying to avoid them until they're a renewable resource in case of emergency. Nothing here is an emergency because we don't actually have to fight any of the stuff if we don't want to. But if the next boss requires us to have a full heal mid fight, I want to make sure I've got it available. Well, the next boss is, uh... CPU? Is it that far away now? I think. All the way to the moon and back? That'll be interesting, too. Can't, can't take any globes, because there's only one and we're dead. Alright, so. Ashura, clearly not a real threat. Uh, I, do, I do have two X potions, technically. Let's put a quick save in this time, because I should have done that last time. Double check that I've got the right shields. Resists ice. So, Tidal Wave will do the same, but Blizzard is going to do like a quarter damage. So, maybe we're good. Actually, you know what we could do just for fun? Just to commit. That's going to hurt. Uh, how many of these have I got? Eight? Oh, right, the four fiends. I forgot about that. That's a lot of damage. Blizzard is nothing. If this gets us the kill, I'll say the cider was worth it. We're at about the point where we died last time, but we did like 50% bonus damage, so... No problem. One box of cider? No big deal. Cheat. Alright, now, unless we want 100% item completion, we don't have to come back. Solo, Black Mage, Furion, or Paladin, Cecil? Well, the scaling for Final Fantasy IV is so much higher than two. Max level Cecil, full gear, is... 
Well, but Final Fantasy II scaling is weird. I don't know. <laughs> that's that's a weird question, actually. Alright. Uh, heal up. Eventually, we'll just use a cabin and kill everybody again or something. Okay, but we got the tail. Um, we cleared everything in the underground that we can do except basically the Marlboro fights. So we're doing good. Now we gotta drill our way out. And uh, yeah, we'll definitely go for early, um, early Excal. As early as you can, anyway. I guess we have an Odin battle. I think you're supposed to fight Odin before Ashura, actually, so this should be easy. <laughs> I think it depends how much his Zantetsuken does. If it's 9999, problems. If it's 3 grand, no big deal. Uh, let's see, we need the uh, hovercraft thinger. We gotta go talk to what's her face. We'll do that after. We'll, first things first, because I forget how the flags work. First things first, drop off the ore, but then we'll go do uh, Yang side quest, Yang side quests, and uh, anything else. Oh, that's right. It's really finicky to. Yeah. You uh, you can't land within one tile diagonally of the higher ground. I understand. You start the same challenge? That's cool. I I mean, I don't know if this is even considered a challenge at this point. Uh, compared to the Final Fantasy 1 solo challenges, especially the NES versions, this is... Well, we've had uh, a couple bosses that were a little tricky, but I say little. Like, Barbaricia wasn't that bad, and uh, Dr. Luke was a little bit tricky. I mean, I'm fighting, literally fighting optional super bosses now. And I just cast Berserk in one, so it's not that bad. <laughs> Could have been way harder. Why did I take this with me? I don't know. <laughs> I feel bad leaving the uh, the Enterprise away from its uh, hovercraft. Alright, leave it here. I'll just put it down. Actually, no. Well, I don't know. First things first, I have to go, uh... <sighs> it's an hour and ten minutes, we gotta cut this episode. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta do a whole bunch of side quests, and I, I'm, I'm definitely going to drop off the ore first. Story-wise, we're supposed to go get the blue whale and go to the moon, but, you know, we'll get there. We'll get there when we're ready. Yeah, Chaos was rough on the Pixel Remaster, for sure. Um, I actually learned a little bit about that. I did a, I did, I've done all six of them now. Well, actually, five of them. I still haven't done Solo Fighter, because, let's see. But while I was doing Solo White Mage, I actually learned a little bit more about how Chaos works. And actually, not that hard for Solo White Mage to kill Chaos. Easier than... Uh, thief or black mage or monk or fighter I can guarantee you actually red mage might be tied with easiest with white mage so so basically if you're looking at the Final Fantasy 1 solo uh, challenges white mage is probably the easiest of the six actually it's weird it's really weird all right go talk to uh, the wife of Yang Go talk to your real wife, too, now and then. Go fight Odin. Mm, is there anything else? I always fumble for a second trying to remember what to do at this point. It'd be nice to have the Avenger, but that's going to be tough. We have to go back down and talk to Yang and wake him up.
You, uh, if Red Mage solo was tough as hell, you did not cast Protect enough times. Because I can tell you, I've done it. It's actually very, very easy. Because you can haste your, if you get slowed. You can Kuriga, which after a while will outheal his damage. You don't have Kuriga for like the White Mage, which makes it even easier. But you also have um, haste, which is better. You just didn't do enough protect. It, it's complicated. I'm not going to get into all the mechanics exactly right now. But your defense stat can go up to 255. Casting protect adds like 10. And it takes a lot of defense before you can stop chaos. But you can. And I think the drinks add like one absorb. So don't use drinks. And your evasion doesn't really matter because I think he just crits all the time. And evasion, uh, his criticals ignore your evade, so. Uh, Odin next. Maybe, I mean, if we can kill him. Let's see. That went this, this way. I should, I should probably make a video of how to kill Chaos with White Mage. I should probably do a solo White Mage now. Now that I know how to do it, I'll be like, lay down some info on the internet. Alright, we got to autosave when we enter the room. It's no big deal. Honestly, this is like a, this is a good match for Cecil to do solo. Because it's like his liege, the one who trained him, his original dad figure, um, who died tragically to the hands of Golbez or Kagnaz or whoever killed him. And instead of Rydia helping him out and all that, it's just mano el mano. I do have... The, it looks... The Defender sprite is terrible. It looks like a tiny little purple dagger. Not impressed by that. Right, he's gonna do his big hit. Nope. <laughs> and we're good. Wait, 90 strength? You've grown strong, very strong. <laughs> we are definitely stronger than Odin, as it turns out. Yeah, that's a. Uh, what was it? High vampire by vampire? No problem there. Um. How are we looking? 82% evade, 99 strength. We know it's actually 90. We're at level 75, the point of uh, potentially diminishing returns. Uh, we've got... 3 strength, 5 strength, 5 strength. So we don't need the back cowl for strength anymore, if we don't want to. We could go Sage's Miter for a little bit more magic defense. Which might not be the worst set. Or, you know, lightning protection, if you care. Pretty sure I can get away with that, right? Yeah, it's 99. And if we took the power armlet off, eventually... It's 95. Yeah, so we're at 90 strength flat. I still want to be at 100, or, well, 99, but... Uh, Black Cal with preventing sleep, honestly, not bad. Okay, um... Cecil looking strong, 16 attacks, you know, that's pretty solid. <laughs> Alright, side quest complete. Next up, uh, go visit Young. Um, sadly, we're still not really in a position to kill the Marlboros. But I'm trying to, I, I always forget, I, I should really look it up one of these days, the exact trigger for getting the Excalibur before the next set of bosses, but I feel like you have to drop off the uh, Adamantite immediately and then do a, the right side quests and it, it'll spawn before you go to the moon, I'm pretty sure. Or it's possible to pick some remaster changes in any way, who knows. You just gotta rest in a tent three times and then it's fine. Just rest outside of the shop for three days, you're good. Uh, up.
With the defender, should we try the Marlboros again? Is that significant enough of a power bump? Well, this is a good place to test it out. Can we kill two? Teleports? What are you wasting your MP? Oof. Sheesh. Double punch. I don't remember if they RNG another... The thing is that we can only survive like two hits. There's four of them, so... It might be possible with RNG, but I don't know. That, that's gonna be tough. That's gonna be tough. I am going the right way, right? I don't know why, but Sylph Cape always mazes me up, mixes me up. I get lost every time. Yes. I mean, I did go directly the right route, but I felt like I was going the wrong way. <laughs> Alright, wake up. Wake up. Smack him. <laughs> Just hit him with a frying pan. Just take it easy. Yeah, you got replaced by another guy that's actually... So Yong left at level 46 or something. Ed's joined at 25. It's pathetic. Alright, so that should be the last... Wait, no, we gotta talk to the Sylphs. What if Yang dies? No? What am I missing? There's, there is one item. This is outside, though. This is... This is not part of the Sylph Manor. This is part of Sylvan Cave. Got the Sylph Summon. Yeah, Edge can use Claws. They just, uh, they give him some elemental effects, but his uh, Katana things definitely do more damage. Um, yeah, we didn't get like an item to use, did we? No, just, this time she just learned it intrinsically, unlike with, uh, the, um, you know, the rare ones. <clears throat> I feel like I got it, it just didn't, it just didn't add it. Because there was two chests, and then the Sylph... It should have been that. I, I wonder if it's, like, bugged or something. All right, let me check if my sword's ready. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll just check. Hey, David. Doing all right, doing all right. Just, uh, you know, challenge runs, right? It's kind of fun, kind of different. You done yet? No. Is there anything else we can do? Was it like... Because Yong, he asked us to tell his wife he was okay. Maybe it's like you have to make two round trips for the sword to be done or something. I never remember. I never remember. But there's not much else we can do before we go to the moon. Hey, Figo. Let's go tell his wife he's fine. I'm pretty sure she... Because she gives us the spoon, right? Like... The, the, the conclusion to his fetch quest is getting the throwing weapon for Edge for, you know, max damage. Maybe that's the Maybe, in fact, maybe it's like, go to the moon or get the spoon is the, uh, the, the flag for, um, you know, get your sword. 
It's probably faster just to go to the moon <laughs> at this point. Throw it on the ground. I guess they upgraded it to a knife, but you know, censorship. Nintendo's got to call it the spoon. It makes it's it's honestly it feels better that Edge throws a, a literal like soup spoon, wooden soup spoon, for you know nine 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 damage. That's uh, just it's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we just checked the sword shop. Let's test my theory. That, uh... We'll even wrap around the world here. I think it's a bad idea, though. Like, there's a lot of... Oh, no, no. Some, some maps, like, the ocean goes on longer than you'd expect on the edge of the map. But this one, nah. It's short. But, uh, let's see if that was the flag. Hour 20 minutes. Another super long episode for the future tubers. You know? As we do. After the spoony bard having a spoon as a weapon, it's just... It's like the joke comes for a full circle. <laughs> no. So how... I feel like... Didn't I get it in the Let's Play before... Maybe... Maybe it's when you spawn the big whale. <laughs> Next test. <laughs> like... I know... I feel like you're not actually supposed to get Excalibur until you return from the moon. But I know you can get it before that, so... I'm just trying to figure out, and then I just need to remember. Whatever the flag is, remember for next time, so I don't have to experiment so much. So we'll do another cutscene. Are you calling my mama a dragon? a pretty silly prophecy, I gotta say. Maybe it is, like, as soon as you crystal to the moon, like, as soon as you go to the moon, maybe that is the only way to spawn it in, but I, I thought... I thought there was a way to get it early, but it might just be that you still have to technically go to the moon and come back to get the sword, even if you don't do the dungeon, like, if you don't talk to Fusoya first. So it's like a sequence break by just spaceshipping around a little extra, maybe. Maybe that's all it is. Although, honestly, the Defender Sword might be better anyway. 15 stamina? Pretty good. Alright, you got a big spaceship. Just been sitting under the ocean for a while. No big deal. It's probably got some kind of shield technology. Just a shell spell, keeping it safe. Ah, the, the blue whale music. So nice. You definitely feel like you've made it when you get a spaceship that has like a bed in it that you can rest in and this music plays and you can actually fly between the moon and the planet. Alright. I, I will go to the moon but I'm going to double check. <laughs> For sure. Uh, I'm going to check the naming way on the moon. I don't remember what the shop sells. I, I'm hoping it has X potions actually. Luke Harvey. I think he's more of a... Yeah, see, look at that. You don't have to go to the moon. Huzzah for blue. Huzzah. Blue sort of remembers something and doesn't watch a cutscene two extra times. Um, this Cecil, who kills all his friends and kind of little bit arrogant Dark Knight. Uh, he's, he's no Sean Luke. He's a, he's an original, original series. All right, so 
the strength is almost pointless <laughs> because it's already maxed. So we're mostly just losing defense to get a much higher base attack. Also, it is a uh, light element or like anti-undead, so it's real good at killing those uh, undead dragons. That's yeah, fine. All right, good. Now we can never come back here, except if I feel like getting the Avenger. It's, it's actually kind of annoying that you can't really get the Avenger in a solo run, at least not in a timely fashion, right? Like, I don't think there's any way to safely fight those four marbles, unless there's an item like a drop or something that I missed that gives you all the status protection before ribbons. Uh, it's the second best sword in the game, yeah. Formerly known as the Crystal Sword, but yeah. Alright, to the moon! I'm just glad they haven't revived our party in a while. Oh, future tubers, we're ending the episode. We're going to the moon, guys! Thanks for watching, see you next time. Look, we're leaving! <laughs>